Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at the Creatures Collide Beast Wars Scorponok figure. Um, like Sky Wasp before him, it's in. I don't like the figure. Um, I do like the paint, don't get me wrong. I mean, you, my camera's doing no, this no justice, but this metallic purple, it's coming up blue on my camera, but this metallic purple is absolutely gorgeous. Other than that, it's a very bland and blah figure. I mean, you can see the head in beast mode, and I don't, I'm used to it with like car transformers because you can't really hide monster faces and shit, but Beast Wars character, you should be able to hide things. It's the whole purpose of them is whatever. Again, not a big fan of Beast Wars, so I don't really care. Um, articulation wise, in this mode, his tail does have a hinge on it. It's cool. Whatever. The legs are all in hinges, but they pop off with the slightest touch, so good luck. Arms have the same articulation they will in robot mode, and we'll show that. They do open and close. You do get the missile, and for some reason a fly. I don't know. And then, yeah, underneath you can fully see the head. Oops. It's okay. It's it's not a great figure. It's not a bad figure. Um, the scorpion mode is definitely the better mode of the two of them. But, yeah. It is what it is. Again, I'm not a Beast Wars guy, so sorry if you guys like this figure and I don't. But tell me why you like it, or why you don't like it, because I definitely want to hear some reasons why people might like this figure. Transformation is actually kind of fun, because you do have to make sure that everything is twisted correctly and matches up correctly, um, especially when you're getting it into Beast Mode. you got to turn this hip and then turn the leg. And I do like that, because it does give it some sort of difficulty for an otherwise really easy toy um this comes down you gotta pull his head out so pull his head out there you go now i am using this head versus the cartoon head is it whatever i can <laughs> that's that's the only reason I, I don't know how these legs go in the back I, again never was into beast wars so i just kind of improvise how they go I just kind of twist them and then they kind of just like hug everything else. Slightest little, slightest little thing. So I basically take the smaller ones, I keep the big ones out, but the smaller ones just kind of line up like they're a reverse rib cage. And I just bring the tail up. But as you can see here, he's got a lot of upper body and not a lot of underbody. And again, pieces are not tabbing in like they're supposed to which definitely is a knockoff to me as far as whether I would like this figure or not and unfortunately it's just not that well done everything falls apart and like Skywaps good luck keeping him up he's so weirdly articulated and has all these weird extensions that but to be fair, I don't know how to do the back here, so I use them to kind of balance it out. But here's where some parts of it I do like. You do get a lot more of that metallic purple, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I do really dig it. Um, that head, so we take a look at that head here. It's definitely more mechanical. It looks like almost like a mechanical like knight or bug. And it has scorpion legs along its face, too. Articulation wise, uh, arms can do a full 360. They can go out about that far. You do get very good elbow bend here. And it can go backwards. This rotates. You saw these already. They open up. And he's got these missiles that you can take out. And for some reason, a fly. Again, if somebody wants to explain that to me, I would love to know. But because of how this doesn't stay attached, he does get some uh, upward. Upward look, he can limbo. Get that back in there. Feet. You do get toe movement. You do get ankle movement. You get heel on one foot. Um, and you do get knee bend. They can go forward. Can't go back that far. And still tail and these things do whatever they want. I wish I liked it. I wish I digged it. But it is what it is. But he is definitely better than Sky Wasp. I will say that. He is much, much better than Sky Wasp. 
Um, but of the three Predacons in this pack, he's not the best. We're saving the best for next. In fact, I'm going to go film that one now. Thank you much for watching. Please comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see next.